Hi everyone, it's Dan Rowe from Maritime Geothermal, makers of Nordic heat pumps. Today we're going to take an in-depth look at our largest products, the commercial W-series water-to-water -water heat pump. Uh, we've made water-to-water -water heat pumps for many years in various sizes and configurations. We currently make a distinction between what we call our residential W-series, which covers sizes 25 to 80, or nominal 2 to 6 tons, our light commercial machines in sizes 90 and 100, and our commercial W-series, which covers the 12-ton W-150 and up. Today we'll be talking about the commercial W-series, that is, R410A hydronic geothermal heat pumps, which typically exchange heat between a ground loop and an internal building loop. Uh, and these are in sizes from 12 to 65 nominal tons. Uh, lately you might have heard about our new high temperature WH and WC series hydronic heat pumps, uh, which can heat water to 160 degrees. We won't be covering these today, but you can request information on those anytime or watch previous walkthrough videos on this channel. Uh, let's take a closer look at the commercial W series. Uh, first, what is a water to water heat pump? A water to water heat pump takes heat from a lower temperature liquid, usually a closed ground loop or an open water well, and puts that heat in a higher temperature water, usually for use in space heating. Uh, models equipped with the optional reversing valve can also take heat from the indoor loop and reject that heat into the ground loop for hydronic cooling applications. Uh, so for heating mode, uh, the R410A machines uh, allow a minimum source temperature of around 25 degrees Fahrenheit and a maximum indoor water temperature of around 120 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'll go through the layout of these machines. Uh, traditionally, we've manufactured commercial water-to-water -water heat pumps in a uh, rectangular cabinet, which would often need to be stacked in racks at the job site. Uh, this new unit is a slim vertical style unit, uh, which is very convenient for multiple unit installations. Units are lined up in a row with uh, all the Victaulic uh, water connections uh, that need to be headered uh, aligned in a row horizontally. Uh, we've got an industrial welded steel frame um, with uh, the enclosure optional. So these views here I'm showing you have the, uh, the enclosure installed and I can remove that here to see what's uh, inside the enclosure. Um, the uh, unit is serviceable from the end only with all enclosure panels uh, removable from the, s from the end only and this includes the side panels. Uh, some of the features of the machine, uh, the tandem compressors we used to use are no longer being used. These have been replaced by dual scroll compressors, uh, which you can see here and uh, two separate refrigerant circuits uh, with a common water circuit inside the uh, brace plate heat exchangers. Uh, this setup still has the first stage only efficiency advantage but a much smaller refrigerant charge and uh, this results in a big improvement in oil management. Uh, the two refrigerant circuits are laid out so they are clearly and logically separated. You can kind of see that from the end here. Uh, let's see, there we go. Uh, this is as opposed to some machines I've seen on the market, which uh, it's very confusing, uh, hard to tell which, which components belong to which circuit. Uh, we're using uh, Bitzer compressors, which uh, have a more recent design than Copeland's. So, for example, they have a much, uh, a much better flooded start tolerance and uh, use a different sort of oil. And uh, unlike the competition, these are serviceable uh, without disassembling any part of the heat pump. I can show you uh, that service end over here. Uh, there's a suction accumulator on each circuit for uh, compressor protection. There it is there. Uh, we're using uh, electronic expansion valves. Uh, so this is kind of like having fuel injection on your car. Very good, um, very good uh, refrigerant control, uh, maximum heat, heat pump capacity and uh, maximum water temperature. Uh, the reversing valves, which you can see here, one for each circuit. Uh, these are an option, so that's our, uh, our H machines, our heating only, and HAC are reversing. And these are uh, heavy-duty industrial-style reversing valves. Uh, flow switches, you can uh, see here, they're peeking out from behind the other components. Uh, these are standard on our units uh, for freeze protection. And we've got uh, built-in PT ports on each water circuit. You can see them here. Uh, this unit uses our new Gen 2 programmable control board. 
There it is there. Uh, and it's also, uh, of course, includes our uh, user interface, as you can see here. Uh, this has a built-in Aquastat functionality without any external probes to install. Uh, you have display of refrigerant temperatures and pressures along with all water in and out temperatures. And uh, there's a built-in interface with the building control system. So there's built-in back debt functionality. If you want to control the, uh, the machine uh, remotely, this is uh, entirely possible uh, with the built-in functions. Uh, another feature is an onboard outdoor reset function, which only turns up the water temperature when it's needed. Uh, and in this way, the COP is maximized uh, over the year, uh, which of course has varying uh, outdoor temperatures and varying heating loads. Uh, you can see here that the unit is easy to pick up with a forklift from either the end or the sides. Uh, it's not shown in this view here, but uh, the rubber mounting feet are standard. And there are spring feet available for those applications where you're installing the machine in a mezzanine and the floor has a little bit of flex to it. I, uh, back to the electrical box. Uh, the box is uh, oversized for uh, easy service. So I've seen a lot of these machines uh, on the market that have very small crowded electrical boxes. And uh, that's certainly not the case here. So uh, that's a brief overview of our, uh, our new unit, uh, the commercial R410A W series. It's uh, available now in sizes from 150 to 800, so that's 12 to 65 nominal tons in this uh, vertical dual circuit design. Uh, that's the end of the tour and I hope you found this overview interesting. The commercial W series heat pump. Uh, if you have any more inquiries or uh, ordering uh, information, uh, requirements. You can uh, contact us through our website uh, for pricing and lead times. To stay up to date on this heat pump and the other uh, models we're releasing on a continuing basis, uh, connect with us on Twitter at NordicGHP.com, uh, on Facebook at Nordic Heat Pumps, or sign up for our newsletter on our website. And thank you for listening. <laughs>